it is 8.42 in the morning and uh, I'm awake. I just finished breakfast. I had eggs because eggs are one of my favorite things to eat for breakfast. Um, and now I'm just going to write in my journals for a few minutes, well, my planner and then one of my journals because I have two. I have journals for everything, pretty much. I'm like my grandma. I write everything down. Um, and I'm not going to do any, like, formal training with Hope today. I may put her vest on for 15 minutes and then take it off because we did a lot yesterday and I'm tired and it's just been a long few weeks and with the time change I don't really think that I'm affected by the time change personally but I know that she is and my other dogs are so sorry if I have crumbs on my face I literally just put my plate in the sink um but yeah I'm tired so training is not gonna happen today I mean she still has to listen listen to me and be obedient and you know we always work on basics and sit stay calm don't bark at the door when the little kids get off the bus that's her favorite thing she loves people loves people but I mean I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing I think that's a good thing because if I'm around people then she needs to learn to focus. I mean, well, I mean, if I'm around people, which I'm gonna try to be more around people because you hang out with friends and family, like, you know, Cassidy and Sonoma and my family and whatever. So if you hang out with people, they need to be around people. So I necessarily don't think that that's a bad thing that she is a people dog. I just think that she needs to learn to focus on me when other people are around. And obviously that takes training and she's gonna be a year in about, let's see, today's the 14th, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's 10 days, 25, 26, 27. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 days. She's gonna be one year. Which I actually can't believe that because I feel like it was just yesterday that I had this 10 pound little bread looking dog thing that used to bite me, used to hide underneath my bed and I couldn't find her. I would cry because I couldn't find her. I would cry because she would chew things and I'd get mad and you know, I guess it's like having a child, you know. You get mad at them when they, no, I mean, not, you know, not terribly mad, obviously, but you get mad when they do things that are bad and you have to discipline them and, oh my God, now she sleeps on my bed and she hogs the whole bed. She's 46 pounds and she's huge. But it's been a wild year, but I wouldn't change a thing because I'm so thankful that I have her because she's brought so many amazing people into my life that I wouldn't trade it for anything so and honestly I don't think I'm gonna do like a montage video like oh hey she's one years old I think I'm just gonna like do like her one year old birthday vlog because I do have some gifts for her because we went to TJ uh, I think it was TJ Maxx and Marshall's and like they had the, the cake plushie toy that will be gone in five minutes because she likes to destroy them. Um, but it's for fun. It's for photos mostly. And then there's a birthday hat in there that she won't wear. But I'm hoping that if I stick a piece of beef jerky in front of her face, she will. Um, we have like one of those doggy cakes that Cassidy got me before but we have another one it came in that box too it was like a birthday set it was real cute but uh yeah that's enough for me for right now I'm just gonna see if I can relax because I've been awake for a little bit and I'm kind of tired and I have physical therapy today and that always makes you tired well at least for me so I'm gonna go for right now and then I will see you guys when we do something a little more exciting
It is the problem when you have a pack of dogs. You have to take all of them places. Hope enough. Mom's just running errands and then that's it. Hi, Sully. You do you see him? He's like on my shoulder. He's like a parrot, a bird on my shoulder. There's Maddie. Maddie's just chilling. She'll probably throw up after this, but she'll be fine. We're going to take them for a walk like we did yesterday because they slept great last night, as you can tell. Hope. Easy. And I'm going to wheel to get some Fitbit steps because I'm in a work week hustle challenge and I lose every single, day, every single time I'm last because I don't have the energy to keep up with these other people. So, Hope. Quiet. She does that. I don't know why she likes my mom. She, like, loves my mom. Sully loves my mom. But I don't know why Hope likes my mom. Because she sleeps in my room. But maybe she's just close to my mom. I don't know. Hope, do you like mom? A waterfall. In a park. Very pretty. It's going to be my OT for the day practicing holding my phone left and right with my right hand so this is really heavy for my right hand but I'm driving but I want it to be good quality for you guys so here's the doodle eating snow so welcome to it's five o'clock and I took a nap after physical therapy and that was at 2 15 ish and I, 2.15, and then I came home, I had some lunch, I had an Italian sandwich from Subway that was really good with some vegetables on it and different kind of meats. I'm trying to be healthier, a little bit of swapping. Um, I want to have a small dinner because I'm not really hungry. Um... But I had therapy, and that usually makes me really, really tired because I was talking to my therapist about this today, actually, because it's very frustrating to me. Um, I'm getting older. I'm not 15 anymore. And so if I fall or if I trip over something or do something like that, it takes me a longer time to recover than I used to when I was 15 and 14 and 13 and even younger than that. Um, and she was explaining to me that I'm gonna have more pain in my muscles as I get older because they're gonna get tighter, my body is gonna change, but I'm also gonna start being able to know my cues and know when my muscle tone is going to change too because my muscle tone changes with everything usually and my hand hurts so I need to just go like this and don't worry that siren is not for our house it's for somebody else's house I should probably just do this on selfie mode but I figured I would let you guys see some nature um because I used to drive a lot like this in the fall Winter just, I hate winter. I need to, like, go down south next year or two. I need to figure that out because I would just feel so much better, I think. I was telling her that I feel like I am a 22-year-old almost trapped in a 40-year-old's body. Actually, I feel like I'm a 90-year-old woman because I go to sleep so early. I wake up so early. I need a nap in the middle of the day, and uh, that's hard, but um, I make it work. Oh, this is my mom's shamrock that we, ha wait, let me see if I can go this way and show you guys. This is the shamrock. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and um, I'm 25% Irish, so not very much, but it was my grandfather who is no longer with us that was Irish. 
Nani's husband, actually. So that's good. And I'm just practicing driving. This chair, even though it's not perfect for me because I'm four feet tall and it's really hard to find a chair that's perfect for an adult who's four feet tall. Um, this chair is perfect in the sense that the feet actually fit and I can put my feet on the feet pedals and I can drive in a somewhat straight line like I'm not hitting into anything. Um, I don't want to show our garbage cans or anything, but our garbage cans were out. This is the snow pile over here. I'm going to put it on selfie mode actually now. Everyone on Instagram was getting some fresh air today, so I was like, oh, I should go outside and get some fresh air, even though I already went for a walk today, but I feel like I just needed some fresh air, so... But I'm going to go back in in a few minutes because the hard part for me personally, it's my personal choice, um, is I don't wear gloves on my left hand because I feel like it doesn't give me a good enough grip on this joystick. And yeah, you can say, oh, well, you're, you know, making a bad choice or whatever. But at the same time, I would rather my fingers be cold and a little bit numb because I can just move them later and warm them up. Like, I could stop and do that versus me having um, a glove that's slippery and then me losing control and me hitting into something. Because this is, to me, this is my version of a car. So if I were to hit into something... I could probably hurt someone or hurt myself, and I wouldn't want to do that. Like, duh. Like, that would be stupid. So, I just choose to keep it on turtle, and I choose to keep it low, and I choose to just go slowly. Now, if I were in a non-crowded park and it was just me and my dog or me and my best friend and her dog and my dog and we were exercising them I would go a little bit faster but because I'm in my front yard and because I don't want to hit like any cars or the mailbox or a curb or the mud or the snow or you know anything like that I choose to keep it slow and just go around in circles because the more circles I do the better I will become and the better the dog will be oh my god I need to show you her boots you're sitting on my keypad right now actually and this is like the perfect tripod spot but if only I had a tripod wait can I do it this way <gasps> can I do it this way oh my okay oh my god you're sitting on my keypad to where my joystick is so now I really gotta go slow because I don't want to crack my phone screen but this is like the perfect oh oh my god I'm so excited this is the perfect spot but it's 5 30 I'm gonna go in at 5 45 because I'm freezing but I try to spend a lot, little bit of time in the chair every day because I have to spend a little bit more time in the other chair, that purple garbage chair that does not fit me comfortably at all. Um, I have to spend a good bit of time in there just because it's easier to get in and out of the car for now. But we are in the process of finding a vehicle for that said chair to go into, which is not easy. Um, but we're looking and we're not gonna just pick the first thing we see because that type of thing, you don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna keep going in my front yard and I actually do have a, um, a power chair that is foldable. It's called the easy light glider, but also the problem with that is again, the feet pedals, but my brother-in-law is an engineer and me and my mom are gonna have him 
look at it to see if we can make the foot pedals a little bit. Oh, oh I think I just ran over Hope's paw by an accident. Sorry, Hopey. But see, this is why I practice. I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? I'm sorry. But see, she comes right over to me. She sniffs me. She's going to walk away for a little bit. I'm sorry, Hope. But she's she's fine. And if I get any hate comments about that, I'm going to delete you because I didn't hurt my dog on purpose. That's why they're trained to be able to be run over because people do run them over sometimes. You're okay, right, yeah. You're all right. You're a good girl. Let's show the... See, there's Sully. I can't even tell you how many times I've run over Sully. Dogs are fine. Hi, puppy. Hi, pretty baby. Let's get a picture of you. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're fine. You're a good girl. You're well taken care of, huh? Yeah. You're a good girl. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here. And I'm going to go back inside because I don't think I should be driving anymore right now. So I will see you all in my next video tomorrow. Bye, guys.